I want to play a game. The rules are simple. I will give a digital code to the movie Spiral from the Book of Saw. You must be the first one to get it. And if you do, you will earn a new movie. But if you don't, you will have failed again. Live or die. Make your choice. That's that. There you go. You're welcome. Oh, if you were here just for the code, what are you doing here still? I already gave it away. A little different timing here to play with some of you because it seems like some of you are really fast. And you just go to the end because you know that's what I'm going to give it. So... Did you get it now when it was in the beginning? So I'm here with Spyro from the Book of Saw. Now I bought this movie when it first came out in 4K Steel Book. So this is not new. I, this has been open for a long time. I've seen this movie like five times. Um, and I, I fucking personally enjoyed it. But the thing is, I was looking through my movies and it turns out that, well, the digital code for this expires in two days from now. Today's the 18th. When I recorded this, I will upload it on the 19, and it seems like the code expires on the 20, according to the back of this box, which says, code may not be valid after July 20 of 2022, so when I upload this July 19, it's still good. So yeah, so I figured, well, I give a code, I might also show the steel book for some of you, that so might have not seen the steel book before, maybe, I doubt it, I mean, like I said, this is an old steel book, but this comes up, I like it when steel books bring this. Because it protects the steelbook from getting scratched. We got Chris Rock, who's in this film, who's the star of this film. Which was shocking at first, right? Uh, Chris Rock in a horror movie like this. But honestly, I'm I'm actually a really big fan of this movie. I, like, I seen the reviews for this movie were terrible. Absolutely terrible. I personally enjoyed it. It was pretty brutal. Not as brutal as some of the other Saw films, which I guess might have been a criticism. And I know some people didn't like the idea that there was like really no John Kramer and stuff. But I feel like, I feel like it was really well done. I I, I don't know. I'm just a big fan of it. I've seen it many times. <laughs> I guess I've easily five times probably since I bought it. So yeah, I, I find the brutality I like. I like Chris Rock in this movie. The one issue, the one only sole issue I had with this movie was that the killer reveal was so obvious. The movie does something later in the film that makes it blatantly obvious who the killer is. And I'm not going to spoil it in case by any chance, even though this movie's almost two years old, I think. Um, maybe by any chance you haven't seen it. So, for those people's sake, I will not spoil it, but my one issue with the movie was the killer reveal was, like, horrible. It was, like, not that the killer choice was bad, but that the way it went about it was so blatantly obvious that it fucking sucked. It kind of ruined the ending, in a way, because I'm like, yep, that's exactly what I expected. When Saw films, usually when it comes to twists, they're really good, and a lot of times you can't, you don't guess, sometimes you guess, sometimes you don't. But here, if you didn't guess who the killer was, you must not watch a lot of movies. <laughs> like I said, it was my one complaint of the film. But for the most part, I honestly thought the, the movie was great. The killer motivation was great. The killer itself was great. It's just that the, the way they made it so obvious. The cast was really good. The kills were really good. Now, some of the stuff, I tell you something else that I didn't like. There was a trap in there. I'm, again, I'm trying to be vague because it's a spoiler. But there's a trap in the movie that you are about to see whether the guy survives or dies. But then movie cuts to the couple, like a day later or whatever. And you see the person didn't survive. And then it goes back to show you the game anyway. Uh, part of the magic of seeing solve traps is to see if the person actually survives or not. Some people do, some people don't. But when you already tell me he dies, why do I want to see the trap now? Kind of ruined it right there. But honestly, I thought Spiral from the Book of Souls was a really good fucking Saw film. Like I said, reviews were terrible. I honestly think it's among the best Saw films. And there's like eight, nine of them now. I don't, it's it's easily, for me, top three possibly. Top three, top four. Like, it's in the top. But yeah, that was technically my unboxing. But it's a really unboxing if it's not being opened. Like I said, they were new, sealed. I like the steel book. I think it's dope. 
Spiral. I like the name of the film too. Some people give a shit for the name of the the name of the movie Spiral from the Book of Saw, but I'd rather get something called Spiral, which there is a spiral, and from the Book of Saw, so it maintains the Saw name somewhere in there versus what some of these other movies are doing. Scream. Five, but it's just called Scream. Oh, Halloween 2018, we'll just call it Halloween, even though there's already a Halloween and another Halloween. Oh, yeah, now we got to go Halloween 1978, Halloween 2007, Halloween 2018. Don't, don't, don't make us do that. Don't, don't force us into that fucking... Ugh. And now, supposed to be the new Scream is called Scream with two exclamation points. Don't do that. So, yes, if you're complaining about the name Spiral from the Book of Saw, would you really ha would you have preferred it was called just Saw? Even though there was already a name Saw? But, yeah, please. that's just my opinion. This has been the one, the only Brian Redgrave. Redgrave. Out.